Greetings cocktail aficionados, it's John Moser with another edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. This is a very special episode because for the first time I am on location. I am at my parents' condo in Estero, Florida, and uh, they've got uh, a decent selection of liquor. And uh, here's my daughter, and there she is, making her debut. Another reason this is a very special edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. Uh, the drink I want to make for you tonight is called the Forbidden Sour. I was first turned on to this late last uh, in the last summer, uh, except I had it at a French restaurant called Serenité up in Medina. Lovely place if you live anywhere in the area. You should, you should check it out. Because it's a French place, they called it the Interdite Agré. 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 Yeah, Interdite Agré. There we go. My French isn't good. Anyway, that's simply French for forbidden sour. And I found out how to make it. I found a recipe for it and found out a little about the history. It's not an old recipe. It's, a, it's, it's really a variant of the whiskey sour. Um, in fact, it includes many of the same ingredients. And uh, it, was, it was invented by the legendary bartender and cocktail consultant, Eben Freeman, who uh, works for Cocktail Culinaria in, uh, in New York City. So it's his recipe. Uh, the, the big difference between this and a traditional whiskey sour is that you replace half of the whiskey with pama, which is a pomegranate liqueur. And that's gonna give some sweetness and, uh, and use less uh, simple syrup for that reason. Some sweetness and also some tanginess. Why forbidden? Well, according to some, the fruit that the serpent used to tempt Eve and which Eve used to tempt Adam was a pomegranate. And so the use of pomegranate liqueur makes it forbidden sour, see? Okay, so I'm gonna make that drink. And first of all, I'm gonna show you what you're going to need. To make the uh, forbidden sour, we need whiskey. In this case, I'm gonna use Redemption High Rye Bourbon. I like my bourbon with a uh, little bit of the spiciness of rye. Pama, the pomegranate liqueur. We're gonna use an ounce of bourbon and an ounce of pama. Half an ounce of simple syrup. We don't have to use as much of this because we're gonna get some of the sweetness from the pama. Uh, we're going to have an ounce of, uh, of fresh lemon juice. Always use fresh if you can. And those are the only ingredients, the only other things we will use. Uh, we're gonna garnish it with a chunk of orange and a maraschino cherry. That's all you need. Let's make the drink. All right, we start as we often do with a cocktail shaker with some ice in it. We begin with an ounce there we go. an ounce of our bourbon, followed by an ounce of the Pama pomegranate liqueur. Ah, come on. There we go. And you know what? I this doesn't usually build as a holiday drink, but look at the nice red color of the Pama, it'll be a little pink in the final product. I think it'll make it a nice holiday uh, holiday drink as a result. Okay, now we're going to squeeze some lemon. All right, well, my parents' place, so I'm gonna use one of these squeezers instead of a handheld. I am guessing that a half of a lemon will be good enough. I'll get an ounce out of that. I could be wrong. Pour that in here. Yep, that is one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Just a half ounce of simple syrup. Boom, we've got everything in here. Give this a good shake. glass with fresh ice. Strain it right into there. Oh, look at that delicious color. All right, and then we are going to garnish that with a piece, a little slice of lemon. And what did I do? Ah. Maraschino cherry. So there we go. 
This is the Forbidden Sour. Let me have a taste. Oh, that's delightful. This is gonna be great. There's some people who are coming over tonight and uh, I'll probably be making some more of these. Hope you're having a great holiday. By the time you watch this video, I'll probably no doubt after Christmas, but I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I wanna thank you all for staying with me for what, 83 episodes. Anyway, I appreciate you. Have a great holiday season. Cheers.